don't know what you're talking about. So, we have been discussing. <coughs> Louis, take it away. Um, so, we've been talking about what specific areas we should focus on improving within our Peter and the Wolf. Because um, at the moment, we think specific areas we're doing quite well. So, for example, the start, we, th we feel like it's really um, smooth in those bits and, and also the end. So, like the procession and the, um, when the hunters enter. So today what we're going to work on is specifically the, the scenes where there's fighting scenes with the wolf. Um, that's probably what we've worked on the least and it's also where, where we tend to get quite messy. Mm -hmm. and, also, and I know my lines. Tristan has learned his lines. With flashcards. Um, <coughs> have you learnt it with the music? Yeah, I've been doing that, yes, as well. Okay. So during my free period this morning, we need to place. basically we need the thing is the problem is out of the characters we have right now, um, the two no three characters that are missing are quite important. Um, we could probably do Seth's part without him because yeah, Silvana can just do it, but Hugo is obviously very Seth important. Seth and Silvana being the hunters. Uh, yeah, Hugo is obviously the wolf, and so obviously. Him not, him not being here, um, and also the fact that the scenes that I feel like we need to focus on are oh, with him, him in it. It's very hard to find a way because it's it, we, he needs to know what we're doing as well. Um, and with Georgia, we can't without Georgia here. We can't do the start of it without Hugo here. We can't do the rest of the play. Um, and along with that, uh, the room uh, we're going to be using for these periods isn't the most convenient because <clears throat> it's quite far away from where we're keeping the set and the costumes and along with that some of the set has only just been made and some of the props we don't even have yet mm -hmm. so as soon as we get them all together it will start to make a lot more sense and when we rehearse in the auditorium which is where we'll be doing the performance it'll work a lot better i think and, and it will start to look like the final night and we'll need to we'll need to it's easier for us to find know where everything is placed and we can see like also because the stage is a different size to our other working spaces so if it if we're in a big room then we'll probably utilize that space when maybe it's not the best idea when we have quite a small stage mm -hmm. um does anybody know if hugo's going to be here what, what, I'm assuming five, he won't. Five, I don't think he will. He's but, at school today. I haven't seen him yet. So what are the Maybe specific scenes we need to work on with Hugo? We need, because we, we've done our scene where Peter and the cat hold him against the tree. And we've the done that a lot like of times. But the it's, and the wolf. We, we've rehearsed it so we know, we know everything to the music, but we need to clean it stage. Yeah, and we need to clean it up. add it into the whole rest of the piece, because otherwise mm -hmm. if we... It'll be quite, quite like, it'll, it's good what we've done, but if, it, if we can't link that to the other parts, then it's going to be quite, you know, choppy. So, yeah. And I think a point that we do need to work on uh, when hopefully we will uh, have the auditorium and the area where we actually performing it in later today is uh, the procession. And so uh, yeah. we need to properly uh, stage and block that to go through the seats and make sure that everything works as far as timing with the music. Yeah, and also it's quite difficult to know currently how many uh, people will be attending because uh, at the moment with the procession we're going right to the back of the um, the, the, the auditorium. Audience. No, the audience. audience, audience. audience yeah, yeah. The, the seating. Um, mm. And so if there's nobody there, then it might be a bit like pointless. Mm -hmm. But if it's a lot shorter, then they're going to have way more time to walk. So we'll need to figure that out. So it's yeah. not just like a big gap. Yeah. And um, one idea that we have for marketing is what we, we think it might be a good idea to go to a primary assembly on Wednesday, so tomorrow. And we'll be in costume and in character. And just with two minutes at the end of the assembly, we'll, we'll do a little speech to all the children and tell them if they enjoy the rehearsal that we're going to perform to them then they should definitely bring their parents along to the the final performance on the 19th. Yeah, and we're also thinking of doing pictures with the cast. Maybe. 
maybe we're thinking about it um for to yeah we understand that it's an efficient way of making money but um whether it's something that the kids will get behind is is something we're still discussing at the moment mm -hmm. but i believe that there's no harm in trying <laughs> <laughs> and then we can we can um pay back the costumes and everything yeah mm. Yeah. So concluding, so. we um, have certain scenes that need polishing, but we have every scene worked on, mm -hmm. and we have a brief understanding of what to. Well, no, we understand what to do for every scene, but we just need to tidy up. That's all. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, and we're gonna have to figure out what parts we want to rehearse on, considering that. Um, we're missing cast members. Missing cast mem members. However, Georgia and Seth, I believe, will be there period five. Yeah. But Hugo will probably not. So we'll have to figure out something for that. Yes. 